Terry, you've had um, 24 hours and at least a little bit of uh, time to sleep on what happened yesterday at the Capitol. Um, from your vantage point right now, what could have been done to prevent what we saw happening on the Hill? Well, there's definitely a lot to learn. I got to tell you, I didn't get much sleep because it was so disconcerting. But watching uh, yesterday and analyzing what's going on and look at the pictures, where the Capitol Police did not have enough people in the proper position. So it would appear to me that the uh, security officials up there, the House and Senate Sergeant of Arms, the Chief of the Capitol Police, uh, apparently underestimated the uh, the violent crowd, the size of that crowd, and overestimated their ability to uh, manage them. So the officers on the west front and east front, especially on the east front, were quickly uh, overcome by sheer numbers. Uh, and they, we lost the steps and the platforms and the balcony, which people put people uh, uh, too close to the skin and the windows and the doors, and uh, they began the breaching. I mean, there was really nothing secret about what the plans were to have a lot of people show up yesterday morning for the, the, the vote in Congress on, um, you know, on the, the, the Electoral College. So it shouldn't come, it shouldn't have come as a shock to anybody that that was going to be the case. Well, we've had a lot of big events up there, huge events, much bigger than the, uh, the group that was up there. I think what was unprecedented was the uh, president of the United States at the other end of the uh, uh, Constitution incited those people and really lit the match. And all the anger they've been building over this past four years, if not the past year, or if not the past four weeks, boiled over. They were an angry, angry, unruly mob. And yeah, it yeah. is uh, uh, ugly when you have to try to deal with them. Obviously, they were they were outmanned, but based on sheer numbers, I mean, is there, is there anything that the Capitol Police as a sole law enforcement agency could have done to, to stop that crowd? Did they Should they have had the National Guard out there initially, or at least some kind of a consortium of, of Metro Police from the area? Chuck, I know they were working in conjunction with the Metropolitan Police Department of Washington, D.C. There was uh, joint command centers set up. There was mass arrest teams in both agencies set up. They were working closely with the Secret Service and the FBI, uh, but reinforcements came too late. Now, when they were called and how that was managed, those are all questions that uh, will have to be answered. And if I was either still the chief or still the Senate Sergeant of Arms, I'd be held responsible for those failures in, in trying to figure that out. I will say this, I think the officers inside the Capitol and in many places fought valiantly individually but they were just overcome. Well, you know, that, that said, I, I don't normally like to go this route, but um, this could have obviously ended much worse than, than one death and a terrible uh, picture painted of the United States and around the world. If those people had marched in there with automatic weapons, if they had in fact planted numerous bombs, if they had thrown grenades, I mean, this thing could have, could have really been uh, terribly violent beyond what we just saw. Well, that's true. And you'll see the pictures of the officers, especially on the East Front balcony, were all heavily armed. And clearly, uh, that type of heavy armament is really made in defense or offense of armed terrorists. Now, this group of uh, violent protesters in the midst of peaceful protesters, even if loud and boisterous and trespassing, it's hard to distinguish how that is. So in this case, like a lot of times when we saw in Chicago in all our old days, was uh, you might need less long rifles and more uh, batons and uh, police and uh, riot gear to uh, go toe to toe with people. Well, you mentioned Chicago. Is there anything in all of your years here or there that, uh, that compares to what you saw yesterday? Well, Chuck, my first assignment in 1968 out of the Chicago Police uh, Academy was a 68 Democratic convention. Uh, and then the days of rage when I was a very young police officer, a 20 year old police officer. So I saw some of the worst disorders. I saw some of the worst uh, reaction by the police. I think we've improved over the years, maybe it got so soft that we were so willing to try to accommodate protesters that we have to question how we balance those things. And I think 
those same type of questions are being asked in the handling of protests across the United States. How do you how do you handle protesters, the majority of whom are peaceful, some of whom are not, and you're trying to put your best foot forward and play someplace in the middle? It's a difficult job for departments, very difficult for officers on the front line, and we rely on the command structure, the supervisors, to figure out how that's going to be. If you were the director of the Illinois State Police today, would you have a concern that what was seen yesterday in Washington is empowering some of these groups and individuals to do similar things in Springfield or at the Daily Plaza or anywhere else across the state of Illinois or any state? I am confident that Director Kelly is talking with his counterpart uh, in uh, for the Springfield Capitol. I am confident that's a sharp outfit. There won't be uh, an organization in the United States, or shouldn't be, that aren't looking at some of the same issues, no matter where their capital is and how they're gonna handle these uh, very, very violent crowds. All righty, Terry, what do you wanna to add to this? Uh, I always like to give you the last word. Well, the good news is within hours, the uh, peace was restored within the Capitol and the legislators were allowed to finish their business. Now we have to investigate that and hold everybody responsible, including the guy who lit the match. You never walked him up the aisle, right? You were gone by then. Blessedly, I did not have to. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.